This morning, St. Luke's Hospital in Eldred, in partnership with Victoria Hand Projects, a charity organization from Canada, will provide a 3D printed hand prosthetic. Interesting. And the organization will give out free orthotic and upper limb prosthetics to those people who are disadvantaged. And Jawanyama is telling us more. John, it's great to see you this morning. I mean, this is fantastic news that is coming through. Um, how is this set to help the residents of Eldoret? Thank you, Zinzi and Sam back there in the studio. And it's not, not only residents from Wasingishu. What the hospital are saying is that they are inviting all Kenyans from all walks of the, this country to walk to this hospital and get this particular artificial arm. As my cameraman can show you, the whole of this uh, arm was artificial arm, Zinzi and Sam. It was printed here. Yes, uh, there's a machine here that is really doing this great job. And this arm, unlike the other that were there before, it's a bit functional. When someone puts on, it's functional. It's not like the other ones that people are used to. Someone can even write uh, with this particular arm. Let me just have a, 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 a guy here who has, what is your name, sir? And uh, maybe we would like also you to try and fit on this particular arm that you have uh, benefited with today. What is your name? And for how long have you been living without the arm? Okay, my name is Jacob Seko. I've been living like seven years now without the arm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yes. And how, how do you feel today that you have benefited with one? Can you try to fit on so that our, our people on, uh, on, uh, who are watching, for the benefit of the people who are watching, Sam and Zinze, as you can see, that's how he's fit, fit, fitting it. And just to ensure that uh, he works normal, just a normal arm, and uh, this arm, if you are to buy some, it will, uh, it will cost you around 100,000 Kenyan money estimated. But uh, it is it's a, a bit functional, unlike the other one. Maybe you can, you, can you greet someone? Like, you can say hi? Wow. <laughs> How do you feel that you have this particular arm today after seven years? Actually, I'm feeling more... Conf uh, it's really beautiful, actually. Uh, for those seven years I've been staying without it. I have even understand that my body balance I had already changed. When I wear clothes, I can discover it has moved to this side. Mm -hmm. But now, my body balance has... Are, are you a left-handed when you are right, writing or is a right-handed? And are you going now back to normal just to do your business? I was a right-handed, but I already adapted with the left one. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Yes. Wow. Beautiful. Sam, let, let's talk to the uh, hospital at Main, uh, Madam Wayne Mwaniki. Why this project and why are you giving it free for to Kenyans? And what is your word to those who, have, who don't have arms? And when should they come? What is the last day? Thank you so much. My name is Winnie Mwaniki. Uh, the hospital administrator, St. Luke's Orthopedic and Trauma Hospital in uh, Eldoret. We have our main specialty in orthopedics, but we're also doing other uh, hospital uh, uh, projects. Now, we partnered with uh, the Victoria Hand Project to help Kenyans. We all know that the rate of accidents in Kenya, and many people have been losing their limbs, their, their, their legs, their, their hands, and the Victorian Hand, Pro uh, Hand Project came in to help us to assist the Kenyans who have lost their hands to be able to do their usual daily chores. And the last, uh, for the last one week, we have done uh, training. The team behind me has been uh, trained by the uh, team uh, from the Victoria Hand Project for the last one week. These machines you see here are going to be here with us. We will be able to provide this these arms mm -hmm. at a very subsidized uh, fee because uh, the, the, the team, uh, VHP, are helping us to help the Kenyans. So Kenyans can now go back to their usual uh, uh, chores. They can write uh, in school, can still continue writing, can study, can do so many other household chores. So we are happy it's here to stay. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Let's may maybe talk to one, the brain behind this. So what is your name? My name is... What, why this project for in, in Kenya today? Yeah, my name is Michael Peroni. I'm the Chief Operating Officer of the Victoria Ham Project. So we've been working in seven countries around the world so far. And there's one of our team members, his name is James, just behind me. Uh, who's from Kenya and he's working in Canada with us and he was like you know I think this would be a great project in Kenya 
and we've just been working very hard to you know raise the funds uh, create the partnerships everything like that and we're just so happy to be here mm -hmm. and maybe uh, how, how many people have you fitted on this arm and uh, how, how happy are you when you fitted on a child and he or she started writing on that particular day when you arrived in Kenya? Yeah, so we fit around 150 people around the world so far. And, we, you know, we're just going to keep on fitting more. And it's just so rewarding when we fit, like, a child like Bin Amin, who we fit on, I guess it was last Tuesday. And he lost both of his hands, unfortunately. He wasn't able to write. Uh, he had to get help from others. But with the arm... He picked it up on his own, he started to wear it, even though the cabling wasn't done. He had a little adaptive device to write, and it was the first time he's written, to my understanding. Mm -hmm. This is technology, and for the benefit of, our, of the viewer, 3D, what is it uh, all about? This um, Is it using some battery machine? Is it rechargeable, or is it just on its own? So it's completely body-powered. Uh, Sego can show you how it has the harness around the shoulders. And just kind of by hunching, you can uh, actuate the hand. There's no electronics in the hand, no batteries, no motors, and it just helps keep the cost down. Uh, and with the lower cost, we can help more people around Kenya. Okay. Thank you. We have Thank been you. told we don't have much time. But some this guy, as you can see, as he had fixed, this is all what you need. Some belts behind it. This is uh, uh, the, this, the, the cable that really will connect when you flex your muscle. Then the hand, normally, the way you just flex the muscle, like you want to hold on something, that is the way it will be working. But some, these are technology, and we, we have seen several kids who, are, who walked to this hospital yesterday and today, and they were so happy to go home back to their normal life and again start writing as they used to and as i've told you some this is they are doing this for free here at st luke so all kenyans who are outside there you are being asked to walk into this hospital and maybe have an arm artificial arm that you will not really spend a coin but just a transport that you will be needed so that we can arrive at st luke's we are still following it up some we don't have much time we will have shown you how this particular machine is printing but we will do it definitely in our other subsequent bulletin back to the studio